Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I think we're finally ready to come online. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. The dummy's in place, that's why I usually forget. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Venkabot, God of War action. My name is David. Yo, it's that game. Let's uh, load our save. I apologize if the volume is kind of whack, guys. This game has a very highly compressed audio. It makes it kind of hard to talk over sometimes. Let's see how loud the game is once we're in-game. Talk about Zanzu about Lunar and what a great franchise that is. And my friend Box telling me that uh, we're actually closer to the end of this game than I expected. Maybe closer to middle or even close to the end. I thought we were kind of early game still. We can't, we can't be that far in. I think Bach misunderstands. Alright, so I can't control the camera. I can't, I can't see shit. Right off the bat, this is my problem with this game. Alright, so I saved my game here. I'm going to go into this temple. We've got some uh, health and magic out here. I never used my magic. I just want to use my Blades of Chaos. Alright, so L1's my block button. I like how I kind of stabbed many blocks. It's a pretty aggressive block. Marr! Maybe because he's parrying too. Yeah, the right stick is dodge, square, and triangle are attack. Damn, these camera angles are so fucking ass. Like, what am I even. Where am I? What do you want me to do? I want me to jump down there, I guess? Alright. Mash it. Well, yeah, it's like a parry. Yeah, you're right. Because he does parry when he does that. So I can pull that out there and put it on the thing and maybe mess up the gears or whatever. There's like a trap to my right, I found. This is pretty boring over here. Oh, there's something up there. Well, oh, I have to probably stop the conveyor. And then I can get some kind of device to put up there. Okay, what's, what's over here? A death trap. There's nobody to survive that. All right. That works. Let's pull this out. Let me go, you douche. Got a little jump scare. Oh, yeah, when they get up off the ground, they can attack you. Get him, get him, get him. Uh. Uh. Get over here. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so he's dead. That fucking jump scared me there. Got a little spook. That's gonna be a good day, I can already tell. I'm in a damn fine mood. I'm super fucking clean. What the fuck, bro? I wanna not let this thing uh, get down there. Let's go, 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 go. I don't want this thing to get crushed. I feel like I have to kill these enemies while also keeping the block safe. What the fuck? Where are they spawning from? And are they going to ever stop? Oh, I can charge it up. I forgot. It's like they keep spawning indefinitely. Well, I can go over here. Kick it! I don't know about this. Kick it. Kick it. I can, I can like... Get like a little save point here. If I push it. Get off me. Yeah, it's so fucking annoying. I can use magic though. Where are you guys spawning from? And will you ever stop? Get him. Curses! I just want to fucking get that lip right there. God fucking damn. There we go. Jesus. God, this game makes me salty sometimes. <laughs> exactly, Zazu. Yo! Yeah. So my goal is to get, it, I guess, into this spot so I can jump up. I guess they're just spawning, right? They're just spawning... To piss me off, and they're probably never gonna stop. Oh goodness, the salt! Goodness gracious!
Oh, there's treasure back there, though. What have I... Oh, come on, grab it, bro. Grab it. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Getting a salty start. All right. So there's health in here and magic. I want, I guess, the health. Oh, my fucking God. I wonder if I get more orbs for getting the cinematic kill on them. I want the health. No, I don't want magic. I want health. There we go. Alright, if I jump from here, probably not. I think I gotta actually... Yeah, I gotta push it a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. There we go. Jesus. That was fucking salty. Alright. Alright, so where are we going now? I love the running animation. You know, I say that like half jokingly, but it's at the same time, it's like some games have really whack running animations. It's like, that's such an important animation to get right because you see it so often. The like, Kratos Seed runs with purpose, you know what I mean? The greatest architectural undertaking the world's ever seen. Mighty Kronos, the Titan, is harnessed. Um, the Temple of Pandora, chained to his back. Okay. The gods appear before Pathos Verdes III, commanding him to build a temple. To house the most powerful weapon on Earth, or in Olympus. That'd be Pandora's box, huh? Alright, so we got some kind of horn here, I guess, to summon the Titan. Gross, who got the cheese? I'm salty, but I'm enjoying myself, though. Alright. This game must have blown minds on PS2 back in the day. Cause it's even to, to, you know, today, it still looks quite beautiful. Sometimes the hands on do. Who cut the cheese? Gross, Kratos. Venkabot. Only the most mature of humor. I think it's some magic, I guess. Even though I never use it. Yee. Yeah. That is a really hilarious double jump animation. <laughs> he just jumps again. I wonder if his animations are, like, backwards. Because when he jumps off the ground, he doesn't actually, like move his knees, right? He's kind of floats into the air. But on the contrary, the second jump, he actually does, like, jump, you know what I mean? I almost feel like, you know, they got him backwards. He actually pushes off with his knees and his feet for the double jump, but off the ground he doesn't. He just kind of lifts off. Hmm. Hmm. Huh, hmm, huh. We got pre-renders and glorious 480p. So we got another fart horn. Whoa, what the, what the fuck? Who's jacking my shit? Oh, I hate these things. Ladies, calm down, okay? There's enough of me for everybody. I'll take some ginseng or something. Right, so I guess I want... Uh, wrong button, I guess. There we go. Weird. <laughs> Alright, so I almost got meter. Right. If I can just block all this shit, it seems like. It sucks because they did this thing where they... They like dodge your attack, it's really fucking annoying. And they counterattack. So if they're, yeah, they're, they charge up, they have a pretty long charge up. For some kind of bullshit. Jeez, calm down, Kratos, goddamn. I wanna get my rage. So they're like, kind of like a, a combo there.
Okay. Don't really understand what I'm doing. Just sort of mashing buttons here. This game, it's hard to tell, like, how close you are to killing a foe, or how many foes they're gonna be. Okay, got lucky there. I'm getting my magic built up slowly but surely. Oh, I guess there's a few more. Is there gonna be an end to this? Is there, is there a puzzle to solve here? Okay, I think I'm gonna have to kill all of them. So this game, my big problem with this game is like they have so much health and there's they keep respawning. It's hard to really get a feeling for like if I'm making any progress. It's not really a satisfying game feel. I kind of just keep killing and killing and killing until eventually they're like, okay. Then there's times like that part with the with the uh, harpies where I had to solve a puzzle. I didn't realize it until much later. I just kept killing, and killing, and killing, thinking that I was supposed to kill them all, but actually I wasn't supposed to. I had to solve a puzzle. So I really don't know. Okay. Like they just keep respawning. There's always three of them. This can't be right. Am I supposed to make them into stone somewhere? They're dropping magic when I kill them. I still like, want to recharge my bar to maybe make some guys into stone. Let's see here. Uh, he hasn't gotten to the gross realm yet. Hmm. It takes two plays to get uh, the plot on this stone. You play this very different from how I did. I went rush down on bosses. No, this is you got to kill him. I think. Okay. Yes, I'm getting magic. Oh, is this the end? Okay. Yeah, see, that's my, one of my problems with this game. Like, that was really fucking boring. <laughs> and it's kind, of, it's kind of hard to tell if I was doing it right or what they wanted from me there. It's like, whenever you kill an enemy and another one spawns, it's like, okay. For how long? So there's my dude. He don't look that big. Alright, so I came from this side, I guess, huh? I'm just gonna blow the horn and get his attention. I can get some magic here. Fart horn time, though. <laughs> exactly. See, it's gonna all be worthwhile. If you wish to blow the fart horn, you must get through us. I do. I do want to blow the fart horn. Fuck. Look at this dude. How far do you think he's gonna crawl? Put some pants on. Uh, you can just really, in the, uh, this is the remastered version, you can really see the, uh, limitations of the graphics here. Compared to, I'm sure, uh, there's probably disguised better on the 480p graphics on the PS2. But you can see here that, like, those hills in the background are just a flat texture. So there's only a few hills here. And you can also tell, like, the actual temple on his back is not very highly detailed. Mm. Imagine if Rush made a fart horn tune. Dude, maybe one day. Send him a tweet. I wonder how far he's gonna go. Thrilling Venkabot streams. Yo, look at his ass. Bro. Needs to do more, uh... More glute flexes, man. Ass too small. Not into it, girl. Not into it. So you think he's gonna, like, walk around in a circle? If I give him time? It's kinda cool when he drags his knees, it kicks up sand. That's a cool hand. How's your night been, dude? Enjoying your last few nights of freedom? Don't rub it in, Vinkabot. I think I walk around in a circle, yeah. Dude got a nice shot of his ass, though. What's good, girl? Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, fine. <laughs> fine. Yeah, I know, cool. And me too, when I watched my brother play this game back in the day. I remember being like, wow! But in the upscaled version, the illusion is somewhat broken. That's what I'm saying, Zanzu. 
I don't want to be, I don't want to sound like I'm shallow, but this dude's got to bring a little bit of ass. Kronos, the last of the mighty titans, emerged from the desert sands. On his back, Pandora's temple awaited. Look, my dude's five head. And patient. Holy shit. Ready to challenge all who went in search of its guarded treasure. Oh, hey there, bud. Yo, let's go. Oh, that was lucky. Where the fuck did that chain come from? <laughs> my dude's fucking Spider Man. <laughs> what is with this chain? That six head, though. <laughs> All right. For three days, Kratos climbed the sheer walls of the mountain. He knew he would either recover Pandora's box or perish inside the cursed temple. Never to return to the world of man. Never to return to the world of man, huh? What is eyeball getting eaten? This is pretty fucking epic, though, really. This is all pre rendered. We're back in the main game again. So, um, uh, Cool Hand says, um, I saw an interesting article saying that the new God of War is actually better if you pretty much just forget everything that happened in the previous entries. Hmm. Makes you wonder. Yeah, Bok, I'm not too excited about getting platinum here. My goal is just basically beat the game, if possible. This is a viewer's choice game, so beating the game is even secondary. We're just playing it to play it. I can't guarantee, depending on how things get voted on, that we're going to even have time to beat it. Alright, let's save our game. I think it's meant to be a reboot in the sense that it's not even the same universe. Really? Now, see, I've had people tell me that, or people were theorizing that before the game came out, you know, weeks before it came out, and I was like, eh, I don't think so. I think it's going to be canonical to the same universe. Just from the trailers, I mean. I assumed it was going to be, con you know, canonical more or less. But maybe not, huh? Can I still vote from here, or is it like a poll or something? The the voting mostly takes place on Discord, but you can vote here too, just whisper to me. Um, yeah, you're voting for next week's game, which is going to be uh, either God of War, or Lunar, or uh, Mega Man X. Just vote one of those titles to me, send it to me on, uh, as a whisper here on Twitch, or check out Discord and um, vote there in the Viewer's Choice channel. Also, you can vote on Patreon. If you're not a patron, it's no big deal, it doesn't matter. Patreon is totally open to everybody. Although, it strikes me that uh, I haven't not got around to putting the Patreon vote up yet, so Discord is probably what you want to do, or here. You can, but if I vote, it actually changes yours to whatever I vote for. So, <laughs> what? Sometimes I don't remember how you set it as. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like it on Discord. It works on Twitch as well. And Patreon usually works, but I've been kind of, because of Michigan Masters, I've been slow to get that working. If I vote, it cha actually changes yours to whatever I vote for. I'm not sure. I think Kulin is joking. I'm not sure I get it. Wow, that looks pretty fucking good. Holy shit. You know what? Let's go back. Okay, the camera angle is stuck. There's gonna be a bug. That's kind of why I, I want to test. Ah, all right. So there you go. It eventually snaps back. Yo, let's go, Zanzu. Clan says, "Yeah, I was just joking. I was saying that my vote overrides." I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. A double knight. Yeah, definitely puts a lot of power into Zanzu's vote. Yeah, my original plan for the way voting was gonna work was to kind of have people be able to vote like. Uh, like, uh, you know, across multiple platforms, you could, like, allocate your votes to more than one game at a time. I think I'm going to simplify it and have, you know, one, you know, one vote per week per user. Something like that. So, yeah, so Zanzu's vote would count as a huge amount of votes, him being a double knight. That is, I think, uh, let me see here. That would be, I think, ten... Yeah, it's ten votes just for Zanzu alone. So people pay for bit they do. Yeah, we do, Colin, yeah. It's pay to win here. I like to think of it more like rewarding people for supporting the channel. 
it's not really like, you know, you don't pay for votes, you pay to support the channel, but yeah, you do get uh, a little bit, some perks here and there. Yeah, the way it works on the channel is, for one dollar a month, you get one extra vote. Um, for uh, three on Patreon, or for five on Twitch, you get two extra votes, and then so on and so forth. I want to buy a game for a month. You definitely can. Definitely within your power. Look at this dead-ass horse, man. What is it with fucking blood, uh, demon souls, and, uh, this game with dead horses? That's why I got some kind of treasure over there. I'm not even paying attention. Think about the voting system. I'm pretty sure that next week's gonna be Lunar 2. Here we go. Uh, I already got max health and everything. I'm actually getting close to my max rage, too. Not only do you get a bigger vote for uh, for being a supporter of the channel financially, but you also get... Oh, look at this. Carrying people around. That's funny. Just drop people into the fire. But you also get to pick uh, at the uh, Havel tier or above. You can pick a game and put it into the vote. Out of curiosity, what percentage of money donated through Patreon goes to the recipient? Uh, a huge percentage. A huge percentage. It's like 95, something like that. Compared to Twitch, which is, you know, 50%. That's why I prefer Patreon. Also, on Patreon, it kind of defaults to uh, auto-renew, whereas Twitch doesn't. So, for me, Patreon is like a pretty big deal compared to the Twitch subs. But I know Twitch subs win in convenience. Kind of a drag, right? A lot of guys don't want to make a Patreon account. And, uh, you know, there's a big subscribe button right over here or whatever, or right over here. So, it's, uh, I know it's easier to subscribe on Twitch, and I appreciate that profoundly. So I love the Twitch subs. They go a long way to making the channel more sustainable. But Patreon is a little bit better. Yeah, Twitch really fucks me. Well, I mean, in, tw in Twitch's defense, unlike Patreon, they have to run fucking video servers and shit. That's pretty fucking expensive. So I'm kind of glad that Twitch gets, you know, a percentage for sure, but I do wish it was a little bit uh, less forgiving. Or a little bit more forgiving. Yeah, it's a huge difference, Block. Yeah, it's a huge difference. That's why on Twitch, uh, on my Patreon account, you know, the Patreon page, uh, patreon.com slash venkabot, the same tiers are actually cheaper than they are on Twitch. And I still make more money. It's true, Cool, and Twitch does run ads. That's true. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to be the... You know, I'm just trying to be understanding, be forgiving. I really do prefer Patreon, because, yeah, Twitch is really fucking uh, tough with how much they take. Uh, okay. What's over here? Nothing. Probably sells your, your metrics, so they probably do as well. But if you're a sub, you don't get ads. Do you get ads on- you don't get ads on my channel, Zanzu? I didn't know that. As we got heartbeats here dragging bodies. So Zanzu doesn't get ads on this channel. I didn't know that. So, you think you can conquer the temple of the gods, do you? Bro! What's with the fucking attitude? It's never been done, you know. Sooner or later, the harpies will bring what's left of you back for me to burn. Do I fucking care? The gods hid Pandora's box in here, so no mortal would ever claim its power. And yet, year after year, I'm saying, I the gate for more and more soldiers what a fucking roast this dude. more and more bodies on these pyres. If I were you, I'd leave now. I feel like I this guy fucking masturbated so much that God had to take his Very right well. hand away, you know what I mean? That's like his punishment. That's his divine punishment. Got his right hand removed. Coolan says, no donations, no cheering, ad block on, free entertainment. May the gods grant you strength to conquer the perils that lay before you. Good luck, Spartan. Bro, what's with this dude? All right, I just got here. I don't even know you. What a dick! With your invincible ass. That's why he's got a fucking attitude. He knows he's invincible. Me, me. All right, it's at R two for some reason. The dead are brought here by the harpies to be burned and recycled for use as enemies inside the temple. Okay, that's some more. In his defense, you're one of probably a thousand people that showed up and then just died. So we make it more work for him, I guess. You're making his job a little bit harder. He's probably like, oh my god, another one? Jesus, where am I? Where am I going? I mean, okay, so I talked to the fucking dude. 
I wasn't paying attention. Maybe you told me what to do, huh? I mean, this is back to where I started. Oh, I guess the door opened up for some reason. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey there, bud. We're a reskin of an existing enemy type. Fear us. Okay, you got some new attacks anyway. Look at the combos. You got it, lady. Let's go. Oh, I fucking had to do a thing. I didn't know I had to do a thing. Who's in the butt? Let's go. Right. Yee. It's a lot of fucking souls. It's kind of hard to dodge that. Okay, so in the middle of an attack, they don't get interrupted. Okay, I, keep, I get greedy for that final hit. Ouch! All right. Get him! Ooh! Well, oh, thank you for the reminder, cool hand. Yeah, there are healing chests around you, right? But I mean, am I a baby, though? The answer might surprise you! Ouch! Oh, that's so tough. He makes, a big, uh, he makes a big cry before he does it, though. Oh, that's death. Wow, I got greedy. I'm not dead. Look at me. I'm fine. <laughs> this game's so buggy. It's a pretty fun fight, though. what I miss here? Let's see here. I can see why he'd be like, Yeah, I'm sure you'll do super well. But yeah, but still. He, 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 see, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all, right? I didn't, I didn't fucking go up to Skype and be like, Yo, what's up? How you feeling today? I'm gonna go eat some dinner and play some friends in Street Fighter 4. Yeah, of course, I block. Have a good night, man. Hey, cool, then try to get some healing chests. Me being stubborn, as usual. They have an attack that's kind of hard to dodge. I wonder if I can block it. The moment they go, oh, they tackle you. I bet you I can. I'd probably parry it, too. I like how this game is so buggy. Like, it was like, you're dead. And I was like, bro, I'm still fucking walking around just fine. Okay. I think I tried to dodge that enough to come here. No, I can't block it. If I dodge that direction, it seems to work. I'm doing a lot of fucking damage here. Alright. Get him! Get him! Get him! Is Chun not good in Street Fighter 4? I think he's mad I killed his friend. I want to hit him from really far away. Ouch. You want to roll sideways there, not back. You want to roll to his, uh, empty hand. There we go. Get him! Get him! She's very mid-tier, I got you. Probably the most fun fight in the game so far. Alright. Backwards ass jump animation. Come on. So, how's my health looking? I think pretty decent. Maybe yeah, you could be zones if you wanted to be. I'm not good at, you know, Street Fighter 3 either, but it's like. It's. I love it for the mechanics, right? I love it for the mechanics. I love trying to get better at it. That's what I love. Yeah, Godspeed, Bot. Godspeed. Alright. Yeah, I find that to me the most interesting part is not practicing, it's like thinking about them. That's what I love to do about fighting games, right? I love to figure out why, 
you know, I want to figure out how to win and, you know, how to get better and, you know, what to change about my play style. That's what I love. I like looking at the, it's like a dance, right? I love looking at all the moves and the characters and thinking like, hmm, how can I use these tools to, to win? Sacrifice, I already missed at least one of these things. Because of uh, the game fucking me over, closing a door behind me when I wasn't ready. So I guess I'm going to grab this. Look at this. It doesn't even give me, like, an R2 prompt. Like, I'm sure it's, like, shining. If the handle is, like, shiny. But the game's breaking its internal, you know, design language. Dun, dun, dun. This game has so many fucking chests that have health and magic and shit. I just want to get more points for my blades. The game doesn't really reward you that much for, like, not losing health. Yeah, it rewards you more for losing health. I guess it's trying to tell me to play more risky. Someone's shooting arrows, I feel like. Get him. And get him. Ow. Fuck. There's like a counterattack where he goes under the ground, huh? Get him. Just tear him in half. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that the developers are like, let's do an animation where he just fucking tears him in half. What's more manly than that? Just grabs your ass. <laughs> he just literally tears him in half with his bare hands. Yeah, it's Demon Souls Day, Cohen. Yeah. This is our viewer's choice time slot. We have three games per day. On most days, except for Tuesday or Friday. So on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we have uh, three games per day. A viewer's choice game, which we vote on. And then Third Strike, of course, and then our long play. The long play is Demon's Souls. It's going to be late at night tonight and every night. I right, so I can talk to this thing, I guess. It's a carving of the goddess Athena. All right. Dash, pretty neat. Got some statues. Yeah, all right, so I'm going to talk to this book then. Yeah, Long Plays Demon Souls, yeah. That happens usually starting around 11 p.m. Eastern. The book reads, This temple was erected in honor of and at the command of the mighty Lord Zeus. Only the bravest heroes shall solve its puzzles and survive its dangers. One man will receive ultimate power. All others shall meet their doom. Pathos Verdes III, chief architect and loyal subject of the gods. Oh, so does Demon Souls have invading? I, didn't, I was kind of curious about that. I know it has cooperation. Or maybe it doesn't, maybe it's the other way around. It only has invading and not cooperation. Rip Demon Souls servers. Yeah, yeah, they have player servers now, though. So now you can just get a private server and, and still you can still play online. You just gotta you know, have a friend with a server. No, no, cool. It's got boats still. You can play with your friends still. You just gotta go on to Reddit and find a, a server that's running. Yo, let's go. Ramses, that's what I hope it says. The man in gauze, the man in gauze. King Ramses. The rings of Pandora. Not the same. I think it's better, dude. Take the power from the fucking big companies and give them to the people. People have their own servers. It's not as, you know, it's not as grandiose as it was, you know, it's, people are kind of divided now. But people, people could, you know, over time, you know, decide on one central server. 
That's what I'm saying, Zombs. Power to the people. I wish they'd done it in the first place. Let people run their own fucking servers. But thank God for these hackers. They made that possible. King Ramses! That's pretty tough. Quit shooting arrows and shit. That's fucking rude as hell. Why are archers always so rude? Alright. I see it's complete. Let's go. I can't see shit. Get him! Ugh! This is fucking tear him in half! Oh my god! Let's fucking go! Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Well, they're not dropping any souls, so... The thing here is... About someone like solving a puzzle while getting under fire from... While being under fire, I guess, huh? I mean, I can go in there. There's a switch. King Ramses. Okay. There's a hole there. I don't know if I can, I don't think I can dive. No, okay. So I gotta drain the water or something. I talk to this um, door here. No. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna pull this and hopefully not die. Get him! Alright. An elevator. Playing Zelda now? Alright, so I can close this for some reason. Yeah, okay. Like some Zelda shit to me. Uh, okay, so I gotta find a way to keep it from going back to the way. Well, I got some um, souls, though. So I killed all the archers now, I guess. Alright, so I gotta find a way. There's like a fucking door there. There's a fucking hole down there. I gotta find a way to keep that... Uh, Keep that crystal all in one piece. God damn, they're fucking stacking it thick. Alright, so. It seems to be locked. There's a skull shaped hollow in the door. Okay. I can go upstairs now if I wanted to. But I don't. Not yet. Alright, so am I getting around to the start of the stage now or what? This is a pretty empty circle. I mean, there's going to be more doors, right? Um, there's really no doors or anything. This is suspicious. The, uh, the little railing there on the bottom. Look, it's like there's a glitch there, too. I could probably clip through there if I was tricky. Hmm. Alright, fine. Yeah, it seems like something weird there. King Ramses. So I guess I'm just going right back to the, where I started. Where did I come from? Whatever. I don't really care. Oh! 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 Not really an elevator, it's sort of like a horizontal elevator. What the fuck? God damn. Alright. What's all this then? Carvings of the Muses, daughters of Lord Zeus. They're made from solid gold. Two of the carvings are missing. Yo, I got some fucking thieves. Oh, we can't have nice things. Alright. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes again. I 
Oh, here it goes again. I should have known, should have known, should have known again. Oh, here it goes again. Damn, this is fucking boring. Alright, well. Something shiny in there. Look like a new spell. What's up, girl? Kratos. The gods demand more of you. You have learned to use the Blades of Chaos well, but they alone will not carry you to the end of your task. What do I need? I offer you the very blade I used to slay a titan. Take this gift and use it to complete your quest. A pretty cool voice. Weapon, Kratos. Wait, what? Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. This game has more swords? I thought I just had the Blades of Chaos. Ah, oh, that blows my fucking mind. Oh, you toggle it on and off by holding L1 plus R1. Go with the gods, Kratos. Go forth in the name of Olympus. All right, you say so. Wow, so there's more weapons in this game. I didn't know that. What's with this fucking sword? It's much shorter reach, which is kind of a drag. It must have a lot more attack power, I would hope, right? Okay. The Challenge of Atlas. So, can I read about this thing? Blade of Artemis. A new weapon, apparently, Zanzu. I didn't even know this game had more than one weapon. I thought it just had the Blades of Chaos and a bunch of magic. I'm only missing one spell. I guess maybe Bach was right. Maybe we're getting close to the end. Moves. Blade of Icarus. Or whatever it's called. Rage of the Gods, Poseidon's Rage, Moose's Gaze, Zeus's Fury. The Blades of Artemis, yeah. So I'm saying, Zanzu. This must be the only other weapon in the game, right? You have a sword and you have your, your Blades of Chaos. Sword Summon. Sword Summon in the Air. Sword Sea. Uh, sword, uh, sword Sheath. The Wrath of Artemis. Hold L1 and X. Okay. Hold L1 and Square. Ascension, hold L1 and triangle. Retribution, L1 and O. Alright. So I can just get a launch. I don't know, Cool Hand. That's pretty cool, I guess. Got like a big slash. If I remember loving something else. Well, there might be one other weapon. There's one other slot on this list. See, I've got the Blades of Chaos, I've got uh, a Locked Magic, Blade of Artemis, Zeus's Fury, Medusa's Gaze, Poseidon's Rage, and I have the Blades of Chaos. I only have one thing I'm missing, I guess. It's a save point back here. Let's go. Ugh. Who wants some of this sword majig I've got here? Seems like it is more powerful. It's quite a bit more powerful. Holy shit. Yeah, fuck the Blades of Chaos, man. This thing's where it's at. Ooh, I got two turntables and a microphone. Oh, yeah. You guys take a lot of hits with the fucking Blades of Chaos. I wish I had wasted all those points building up the fucking chains. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Yeah. Just chopping fuckers up. Just mashing the square button for days. I love it. Oh yeah. Hit that square button, dude. Just keep hitting it. Until all the enemies stop coming. Let's go.
Fucked it up. Oops. Miss Magic Girl. There we go. I got a block afterwards for sure. Right. Off the prompts. Okay, watch the prompts. Okay, watch them again. There we go. Get him. So Cool Hand says, um, could we think of a different God of War game though for more weapons? I always felt like the thumbstick prompts are super sensitive and shitty. I just killed the Medusa's, never bothered with the prompts. Eh, I don't mind them that much. Could be they fix them in the remake here. They are kind of, it looks kind of sensitive, but definitely um, doable consistently. I need some health now, goddamn. Here's some winners. Sounds like archers. I hear them drawing bowstrings. I feel like. Can I go up there? Yes. Hey guys. This thing is quite a bit better than the Blade of Chaos in terms of damage. And definitely can it's more mash friendly. Which is cool. I have no idea, again, if, if killing them with the prompt gives me more souls or what. It makes sense that the Medusas always give magic when you kill them with the prompt. And the Mentors always give, always give health. So that's pretty sensible. The fuck, where's this? Oh, they're explosive bolts. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've got magic for those guys. Can I just double jump over there, though? Probably can just walk across. Oh shit, climb up, Kratos. Oh, I love mashing though. I love to mash. Ah. Alright, so I got a switch there I can pull. I got a bunch of pathways I can take. Including some with treasure. Gorgonai. I like the sound effect too, it's like meow. Alright, what's what if I happen if I pull this, do you think? Yank it, dude. Uh Wow, this is gonna be a little bit involved, huh? This temple's gonna be a little bit involved. Go, Kratos, go! Pull yourself up, dude. I want to kill these guys over here. Get some souls! Ow! Cut it out. Smash square, dude. Best button in the game! I level up my blade now. Not even close. It's gonna take uh, almost 4,000. Boy, these guys are not giving me a whole lot of XP. Right, so I yanked that chain. Now I can go down there if I wanted to. I mean, there's also a path over here, though, that I've not yet explored. Yeah, I got magic over here, and then down here, there's like a doorway, right? Or am I. 
just whistling Dixie. Yes, over here. All right, so we got some Medusas down there. I don't need the magic. I want some health and red orbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I killed by a giant sword. Oh. Quit your complaining. So I can pull this for some reason. I'll find out why in a minute. Oh, hi. Damn. Medusas are savage, dude. Alright, get some magic back. Right, you wanna come out here and fight me? Oh, I can get some health though, can't I? Maybe I can. Uh, this turn into health or only just magic? Only magic. Well, give me that then. Alright, so I feel like I'm definitely in danger of um, biting the dust here. Wish I could see. Get him. Right, now I gotta kill some archers. I'm not sure how many archers, because I can't see shit. Can't grab at this or what? Oh, you can't grab at this. Oh. Wow. It's going to be a long way away, isn't it? All right. Oh, Jesus. Can I not save over here? Is there a save point over here? No. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, my God. So I got my Blades of Chaos again. I don't want these. At least I killed all the Medusa, it looks like. Okay. So I guess I'm kind of what I'm supposed to do. I can probably just use my magic on these guys. But I think I just want to do it this way if I can. Ah, shit. Alright. Hey, grab on. Go up there. thing is, I have to kill them with magic. It's going to be kind of tough because I have these guys here to fight at the same time. So I can lure them away. Can I go over here? And I'll climb that. And then jump across here. No. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty fucking annoying, Coolahan. It's okay. It's okay. Let's just keep on trying. I want to lure them all over here, right, where the archers can't reach. That's really the trick. Uh, the Medusas are tough to deal with. That I will say. For me, the Medusas are the hardest foes to deal with. Any foe that has counterattack is hard to deal with. I want to get these guys up here, and then I want to lure them over here. Okay. 
Nice little combo there. I like how I had a little spin that animation at the end. Alright, so now I want to change to this one, I think. This magic spell here. I'm not sure how I use this like that. So you do it like this. Square. Still alive, okay. That's fine. Alright, why don't you want to hit that guy, Kratos? Why don't you lock onto him? He just died for no reason. Whatever. Alright, so uh, there's souls over there. I want those. Here we go. I can get my magic back in that box. Right, let's pull this. Let's skip this. Go over here and get this treasure before I forget. Organize. All right. Just gotta be careful you don't fall into the pit, I guess. Because that will kill you. All righty. So I can go back here and get some magic from that chest. I think with Medusa, they have a counterattack. Any enemy that can counter my attacks that I find uh, I have trouble with. The magic restored. Can I save my game somewhere before I go on? No, it's still locked. Okay, so that door is locked. All right. I gotcha. So I've got plenty of magic now for Zeus's rage. That's what I want. That was quick. I can counter that, it's pretty predictable. Alright. Oh, I'm dying. Oh. I know, life's hard. Get her. Fucked it up. There we go. Got my mana back. Killed all my enemies. Get him. Get him. Get him. And get him. Okay, so I made a little bit of progress there. Break some vases. What does this say? It's an image that's carved into the door. Two Greek soldiers are battling over Pandora's box. Both of their shields are missing. Hmm. Well, maybe I need to find some shields, huh? I have a, a switch here. To put something there. Oh, yeah, I've got that object I can put on there. Okay. I gotcha. I remember this thing over here. It's like a... It's like a cart. Let's go grab the cart. Right. Oh my god! Oh jeez, it's so fucking heavy. Oh man. Curse is really fucking ripped. This guy don't give a shit. I guess he's like powered up by the gods, right? He's like a, a soldier of the gods, so he's like extra, extra buff. It's like super meng. Alright, well, that's cool. Hey, progress is progress. What? Oh, there's some gears working here now. Are they working before? Uh, well. I mean, they've got an icon on the... On whatever this is. Do I have a spell with that icon? Not really. Well, 
Well, I still can't leave this area, right? That's kind of the idea, I feel like. I feel like I can't leave, so I, I have to solve it, solve it here. I think... I can slide down that rope. You know, the one that I lowered down. But I mean, if I try that and die, I'm gonna be salty. This game, again, is not very uh, good with direction sometimes. Let's go see if the door is opened up back here. There's a rope there, see? And this door is still closed. Okay, so... I mean, we plugged a hole down here. But I feel like if I grab onto that rope, I'm gonna go down to my death. So let's check back here again. We have a puzzle or something. Not very clear if it's a puzzle or not, or what I'm supposed to do exactly. Because the game is still great. It's a, it's a pretty good game for when it came out, for sure. But I've got a lot of complaints. Alright, so we got some kind of icon up there. It's got some... Oh, it has a shield. So there's shields up there and shield up there. Alright, but I can't... What if I were to move this off? Is there a... What is with this thing here? Anything special with this? Doesn't seem that way. How you doing, Boot Camp? How's your day been? What is with that icon? Does that icon mean anything? I don't think so. I want to get through there to the other side. It takes a minute to trigger. Oh, I can kick it. If I go over here... Oh, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. So, because I've been okay, I guess, just in a dilemma with an opportunity, really. Kind of dilemma with an opportunity. Sounds interesting. I can't bring this up there. I'm so close to doing what I want to do. Here we go. Aha! Aho! I can't counterattack with this yet. Yes, a square button, yes! Oh my god! Oh, let's hit that button, dude. Yeah! Just hit it! Yes! Fuck off! Oh my god. Ouch. Come over here, guys, so I can see ya. Look at this game's shitty ass camera. Oh my god, the square button. Let's fucking go. Got hired for another job. Good opportunity, but there are some cons that would make me reconsider. Hmm. Recently got a new job, right? Now you got another uh, offer for a job. Or you got hired, excuse me. Hmm. Well, if you want to fucking vent about it, let me know, dude. If you want to vent about it, we can talk about it. Maybe sometimes it's kind of just getting off your chest can make it easier to make a decision, right? Sometimes verbalizing what's on your mind can make it more clear. Even if I can't help you at all. Alright. 
If you want to vent about it, or Venka, no, Templar, no, but welcome aboard, dude. Welcome. But no, dude, no. No, keep it to yourself. This is 100% no complaint stream. No, 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 definitely. This is a 100% complaint stream. Hope it's not no complaint stream. If it is, I'm definitely uh, gonna get banned. Cause I love to complain on this stream. It's like my favorite thing. Here we go. Got flannel jack online. That's cool. A gold shield rests on the altar. There is a picture of Zeus covered in it. Will you pick it up? No. Fuck off with that shit. Goodies. I've got complaints about this fucking game, that's for sure. Not nearly as weighty as uh, my new boot camp's going through, I'm sure. Let's try that again, get the shield this time, I guess. Get him. I like how he's backflips into it, that's so sick. So I'm not gonna ever come back here again, I might as well get this health. Alright. Tempest, I'll complain. I poured a big bowl of cereal and then failed to check if there was milk. No! No, Templar! You use ice cream? I don't know, actually, it might be actually really fucking good. It might be really fucking good. I kinda want that now. Ice cream with uh, cereal in it? Crunchy? B, just take me. Just take me, dude. I give up. I'm eating cereal and ice cream. That's gonna switch here. That seems uh, shifty. Bro, let me climb off. I just want to get off, girl. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, there's another one up there, it says. Alright, it says there's a shield there and a shield there. Unless I misinterpret that. It was actually kind of good. Knock off honey Cheerios mixed with chocolate chip cookie dough. And our freezer hasn't been closing completely, so it was all soft, too. I guess that is a silver lining to everything, huh? So I think I gotta go back in there and find another shield. I mean, when we lifted the shield, a switch got triggered, right? Who knows what that, sh that switch was for? Something in here? Probably not, actually. Probably misinterpreting that symbol. No, I like how this is like the most you know, ambitious architectural achievement of mankind or whatever. But it's still like got this racket wooden ladder. <laughs> this ratchet-ass wooden ladder. Alright, so anything that I'm missing over there? No. Alright. Yeah, I would definitely kill for that right now. Something very expensive issue to have. Oh shit. I don't think there's anything over here that I'm missing. Could be wrong, though. Damn, now I want to make a game where every so often the camera stops responding to your commands via the left thumbstick and you have to run into the camera and beat its mission. Yeah, exactly. That's what this game basically is. But there is no camera. There's never any control of the thumbstick in this game. Alright, I guess I'm going to assume that I can go back then. Not a game where it's like you never know where to go or what to do. The game just assumes that you know. All right, so I can't go back there. What the fuck! I find another shield. I have no idea where to even start looking. All right. 
Nothing over there. I don't want to jump down there because I fall into the fucking hole. Where is going? I got. It's got to be in here somewhere, right inside this door. Let's talk to this door again. Uh, what if, what if I were to like move this off? Maybe the shield's gonna be on that platform now. No. Maybe a door opened up when we hit that switch from taking the shield away. No. All right. Go back here again. Kick that and backflip. Alright. Got a chest there I don't want. It's magic. Don't climb that. Anything over here? No. Anything back here? No. Anything up this ladder? I weird that camera angle is exclusive to that jump. Hmm. Huh, hmm, huh, hmm, huh. Hammy, hmm, huh. How about that? Alright. What the fuck? There's, I don't know, there's symbols, like, see above this thing, there's like some symbols. One says, you know, in the upper left, there's like an arrow, there's two arrows, right? One pointed toward that shield, and one's pointing up here. I don't see no shields. On the other side. Where is his last shield? See, there's like some kind of markings on this wall too. It says, you know, arrow, circle. Maybe the circle is there's the arrow. It's not thinking Templar. It seems to imply go left or right, but there was a shield over on the left. I don't see nothing on the right. God, I hate this game. Sometimes. Okay. There's nothing back here. Dear Kratos, stop auditioning for trapeze artists and just run across the damn pillar. He's like, whoa, because of the land mission, like, whoa. It's not even that fucking wide. I can walk across that, no problem. I'm not even a fucking god soldier. What does the game want from me? Where is the other shield? Oh my god.
Demon Cry is greater than God of War, yeah. Well, yeah, that's definitely my opinion, too. From God of War to God of Snore. I can definitely co-sign that. Pokemon Board Zinnigan, how you been, dude? Bruh. What do you want from me, game? This is my second biggest complaint with this game. My first big complaint is the camera. That's the worst thing about this game. My second biggest thing is all these times where it's like, here, solve a puzzle, question mark. Like, I don't even know if I'm solving a puzzle for sure, because the game is so buggy. Sometimes I think that it's like something is just missing. Like, it's hard to tell if you're even solving a puzzle sometimes. So Zen's working hardly. There's not, nothing wrong with that. As long as you getting good rest. That's what's important. If you're going to work hard, you got to rest hard. Well, that's the old saying, right? Work hard, rest hard. Oh my god. Do I have to look at a guide for this shit? Like, this room is not even that big. What does it want from me? Yeah, we're missing a fucking shield. I know, I know. Okay, I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the shields is missing. Awesome. Awesome. That's fucking great, dude. I love it. I mean, where is the shield, though? That's my question. When you removed the shield from its pedestal, there was an implication that a switch went down. They implied that by removing, kind of like, you know, Indiana Jones, right? I removed the shield and a switch came down. I don't know where... Like, if any, I don't know what triggered, if anything. Nothing every, Nothing seems to have changed. If I could find what changed, maybe I could figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. By the way, this game is boring. Not bad, but it is boring. Yeah, I kind of agree. I'm not really in love with it. A lot of things make it kind of dull. Yeah, it all seems the same. Backtracking. Alright. What does the game want me to do? What if I chop that rope? Would that do anything, do you think? Nothing back here. Alright. Can I pull the switch again? No. Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, so I can climb this. Okay, so I can go down to another floor. Lovely backtracking. Yeah, this, again, this game doesn't really tell you, you know, like, how far to backtrack sometimes. The fuck? Alright, so we're down here now. We're making some progress. I like it. Can I get a save point, though? That would be amazing. Oh, let's fucking go! Give me a little kick. Kick, kick, kick. Cool, fucking get him! Okay, that's fine. Just tank some hits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Destroy your controller as fast as you can. Gotta get my $60 again for a new controller. I like it. Very sneaky, Sony. Yes, 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 yes. Very exciting. Yeah. Back with the stick. Game design. Okay. Oh my fucking god, bro. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. There he goes. That's funny. All right, so uh, I'm gonna actually uh, get this health because there hasn't been a checkpoint in a while, as far as far as I know. I really don't want to go back and do all that shit again. The sword's gonna be a lot stronger. There's another fucking shield. Don't make me climb back up, though, please. The button smash intensifies. Yeah, very exciting gameplay. Can I just jump back there? Hope so. Is it even worth risking it? Probably not, right? I got the shield of Hades. Okay, so I'm supposed to go that way, I guess. Yeah, Zen, I've got a lot of complaints with this game. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely say that much. I respect that it's definitely a pioneer in the genre and that it came out in a time where there wasn't a whole lot of examples to learn from. But that being said, it is pretty... It hasn't aged all that well. Oh my god, mash square. Let's go. We're ready for the square button, dude. You are not ready for the square button. Trust me. Oh my god. Oh my god. How about some more? Oh my Jesus. This is square button, dude. It's that button. You guys are not ready. Oh my yeah. Square button for days. That guy's gonna ever stop coming though. I blocked that. Oh yeah, baby. It's that button, dude. Oh, yeah. And the whirlwind move is giving me a lot of mileage there, yeah. Square button simulator. Just smash it, dude. Smash it. Alright. So, uh, on that shield door, it wanted two shields with Zeus, right? That's what they said, I'm pretty sure. I think this is a trap. Some manner of trap. I feel like the, the Hades shield is meant for something else. I hope I can jump over there, because I kind of implying I can. Okay. There's a fucking beam there. Whatever, dude. Just get me out of here. Almost time for third strike, guys. Let's try and find a save point. Like any time ever. That would be amazing. All right, now how can I jump off this without fucking dying? Like this. Oh, jeez, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Why did he jump off that weird angle? Fuck this game's camera. Try to finish Castlevania Dracula X, the SNES version. Okay. You couldn't do it? The game is anti-fun. How do you mean, Zinnigan? So this one wants Zeus, I feel like. So I'm not gonna place a shield there. What if I pulled this off? And place something here. I do that. No. Probably overthinking this. What if I were to kick this again? Can I kick it? Yes, you can. What if I went up here and like put this shield on the switch? I do that. No. Alright, so I probably misread. I probably should put it right here. Overthinking it. Well, let's go. Yes. Okay. Can I save? Bet any placement bullshit segments of fucked up platforms. Why is the placement so bad? That's what I want to know. 
what makes it bad placement. I never played it myself, so I'm kind of curious how you feel about it. Oh, a save point, thank God. Guys, as usual, if you enjoy hanging out, if you want to keep the channel online, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash fencabout, or even a buck is a huge help. A buck every month puts a talk in my belly every month to make the stream more sustainable in the long term. So, you know, 100 guys do that, it's 100 bucks. That makes the stream actually, you know, um, possible. It makes it possible to do it for 40 hours a week on camera, and then, you know, another 20 or 30 off camera. It's actually um, super helpful. If you're like me, you're totally broke, though, right? Or maybe, you know, you've got a little bit of scratch around your pocket, but you figure you have better uses for it than helping a streamer out. I totally understand. No hard feelings. I totally know that feeling. Uh, help for free in that case. You know, get in the chat, come say hi. Follow on Twitch, tell your friends we're here. It's all very important. And the chat is so important. It makes it more fun to stream. It's more fun to watch the stream. And, uh, you know, telling your friends we're here, you know, we're here doing this kind of stuff is uh, a good way to get more guys on here. You can also, um, you know, um, save clips of highlights you enjoy, like funny stuff, scary stuff. That's Twitch, you know, on the Twitch side. And this clip feature where you can save, like, highlights. It's kind of cool. Makes it easy for me uh, to make promotional material, right? And I stream so much, I don't really have time to go through the footage again and try and find highlights myself. So if you save them for me, I can make, like, highlight reels on YouTube. I can send out stuff on social media, like Twitter and Facebook. I can get new guys on the channel that way. It's actually more helpful than you realize. I always use my clips, even if it's just on my break screen, right? I try and use them for promo materials. It always goes on my break screen, so I can walk away for a bit, and that would be totally quiet. It's actually pretty helpful. Um, uh, yeah, if you're like me, uh, you know, you can, um, you know, you watch a lot of YouTube, right? <laughs> you watch a lot of YouTube, but you can also uh, check me out on there. You know, just search for Venkabot on there, you'll find me. Or if you're on the Twitch version on the desktop or on, uh, on you know, the app or the website, look below my uh, stream for the uh, YouTube link. For the YouTube link. I've got all of my past streams archived there. Um, they're all archived, but they're not all public yet. Um, but we have a thousand videos now that are public. A thousand videos. Including entire long plays of Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and Bloodborne, and Neo, as well as, uh, you know, Ninja Gaiden Sigma on PS3 if you're into action games like this. We also have retros like Sonic the Hedgehog, Commander Keen, Metal Gear Solid, Nights into Dreams, Super Metroid, and more, like Ninja Gaiden NES as well. We've got, um, you know, horror games, blind, like uh, you can watch me get spooked in Dead Space or The Evil Within, as well as uh, AAA games like The Last of Us and GTA V, and indies like 20XX, Dropsy, Toki Tori, and Omega Strike. Um, and finally, we have online games as well, like me and my friends playing Fortnite Battle Royale, get Victory Royale, my first time playing, believe it or not. It's kind of fun. We also have uh, Dungeons & Dragons on there, me and my friends playing D&D for the first time ever. And uh, I'm GTA Online, me and Templar and Overlord Steve and Shadow Scyther hanging out, making money, driving flying cars, having a kick-ass time at Templar LLC. So since I can't tell, it's hard to explain. Play by yourself in Rage to the Infinity. Gypsy says, it sounds like old school Ninja Gaiden shenanigans. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden, man, their place, it's a very delicate balance. I love that game. I love Ninja Gaiden. You can watch me go beat that on YouTube as well. I love Ninja Gaiden NES to death. And I will defend it forever. It's definitely very hard, though. Very hard. And pretty bullshit in some places, but again, the bullshit factor is mitigated by the unlimited continues. It's really all about memorization, you know, stuff like that. Kind of memorize everything is, and it's an execution exercise. I really like that game, though. But I'm going to go a very short break here, guys. Come back in a few minutes with some, uh, um, you know, uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I will see you guys very shortly. Turbo Graphics version is really good, but the SNS version is really bad, but I still love the game for some reason. Dracula X Chronicles. What was the best 3D Ninja Gaiden? They're all equally good. I'm sorry, Gypsy. I know it's a cop-out answer. They've all got their own thing going on. If I had to pick only one to say it was definitively the best all around, probably Ninja Gaiden 2. Um, Sigma, that is. You know, they, they really uh, tightened it up for the PS3 release. Did some rebalancing, made it a lot more tolerable, I guess, from what I understand. Wow! Look at the hits! Wow! Hey Templar, I've heard about that only recently about simulcast. I have not looked into it yet. Definitely on my mind, though. I think it wouldn't really work for uploading videos, um, because my whole point, the reason I upload it that way is because I want to have a higher quality recording, which again, it has to be higher quality than the stream would be. That's why the YouTube channel exists right now, basically. Um, there's actually, if I wanted to just upload my stream quality to YouTube, it'd be very easy, because uh, Twitch has a really cool feature for doing that automatically. But I do want to have it and be in 1080p 60 frames, which the stream can't be, for technical reasons. 
But I have thought about that as a way to get more viewers on YouTube. It only came to my attention uh, last week that that's even possible. So that I don't hit a or, you know, not reasonable. But there are uh, considerations to make, right? Like, how do we handle the chat? We have to have, like, a combined chat somehow, which would be more software for me to write, probably. Yeah, thank you, Templar, yeah. Yeah, I heard about it from Zuki uh, M1 last week. That's something he does, he says, with simulcast. Uh, that might help to get more guys on YouTube. Almost 100 subs. We have 99 subs right now, guys, on YouTube. We're one away from 100. So Gypsy says, uh, try the Streets of Rage remake. It's free and better than the classic ones. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, Gypsy. Okay, Templar. So there's only Templar kind of familiar with how this works, this simulcasting thing. Let's get them all in the Twitch chat. I got 99 subs and a bitch ain't one. <laughs> 